Yeah. Let's those who have a book turn to the next chapter. <laughs> no, don't go. The numbers are different depending on the translator. So it's the it's, the, it's the effects house? of the first house. Yeah. Tanu, bhava, phala, dhyaya. Tanu, what is Tanu? Tanu is the body. So it's Tanu Baba, the house of the body. Fala, the fruit, the result. So Tanu Baba, the house of the body, results, Adhyaya, chapter. Okay? That's the next chapter there. And basically the next few chapters, Prashara goes through each house and the house lords. This chapter is the Tanu Baba. So it's the Lord of the First in... So, okay, I gotta explain this to the beginners. <laughs> so there's a Lord of the First House. Who's the Lord of the First House? Hello. Sign. <laughs> That's Karaka, Lord. The sign ruling that house. Mars? What sign is ruling that house? Oh, I'm picking on James. My focus today. <laughs> I need I need to focus on a beginner so I speak from a beginner level. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's good for you. It's good for everyone else. Too. Student that blanks out as soon as you ask her a question. Well, look at the chart and and look. Which house is your first house? Because that's the lugna, right? The ascendant. So what sign is in the first house? Virgo, right? Right. Yes. Number six. Right. Yes? Yes. So number six is Virgo. What planet lords Virgo? What planet rules over Virgo? Mm. Venus. Mercury. <laughs> 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 Mercury. So Mercury is the lord of the sign in the first house. So the first house is called the Lagna, and the lord of the sign in the Lagna is Mercury. So Mercury becomes what's called the Lagnesha. Lagna means the first house. Isha means lord. So when you combine them together, it becomes Lagnesha. If it's a house, Bhava, Isha. So, Bhavesha. So, the lord of a house is the Bhavesha. The lord of the first house is Lagnesha. Second house is Dhanabhava. So, it's Dhanesha. Mm. Third house is Vikrama, Vikramesha. In this way. Mm. Okay, the lord of that house. So, the lord of your first house is Mercury. Now, to see the lord of the second house. So, if, if the first house is Virgo, the second house is ruled by what? Libra. Libra. Who is the Lord of Libra? Venus. Venus. Good. And so that means Venus is the Lord of your second house. Okay? We got that yep. concept? Yep. Third house. Third house is, is, is what sign is Scorpio. in there? And so the Lord of Scorpio is? Saturn. Mars. Mars. Almost. And so Mars is the Lord of the third house. So we got this? we got Lord, the Lord of a house. Now, where that Lord goes is very important for that house. So the Lord of the first house, that shows you and your innate nature. Where the Lord of that house goes shows where you're putting your focus. Where you're applying yourself. So if that Lord of the first house goes to the second house, where are you going to apply yourself? Money, making money, family. If the Lord of the um, oh, I get it. You got it. Yeah. If the Lord of the first house goes to the fourth house, where are we applying ourselves? Home. Into the home. Right. We apply ourselves into the home, into making ourselves feel good, into this kind of, into making ourselves happy and at home. If the Lord of the first goes to the fifth house. Studies. Studies, intelligence. Um, Prashar said mantras and yantras. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the Lord of the first goes to the tenth house. Working. Working. So this is called Bhavesha. It's the rule of the Lord of a house going to another house. Now there's two aspects to this rule. Um, and I, I'll give the rule first and then we'll look at what Prashara says. The first rule is, is that where the Lord goes affects that house. So we just saw where the um, where your focus went, right? Mm -hmm. So we could see where your focus. Where is your ascendant lord, the lugna lord? Where did Mercury go? What house? Uh, first one. Mercury is in the ascendant in Virgo. Oh. Eleven. Which eleven? Eleventh house. Yeah, so Mercury is um, it's over here. Oh, One, I see. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So the sixth house. Oh, okay. Okay. So Mercury in the sixth house. What's the sixth house? The house of. Enemies. Enemies. What else? Pets and servants. Pets, servants, disease. Stomach problems. <laughs> so the in th the mental focus goes to um, disease, and what is disease? Healing. So it goes to learning about healing. It's the house of wor hard work, servant. So it goes to, to service and work. So that's the focus. The, the attention is going to that house. Okay? Um, huh? And it's an Artha house. Okay. At the same time, um, let's take the fourth house. The fourth house is the house of happiness, right? The house of feeling, the house of the heart. Is it a good house? I think it's a good house. Okay. So, that, the lord of that house, wherever that lord goes, is going to affect the energy of that house in the same way. There's two different ways to look at it. One, we look at that, where that goes from the ascendant. Okay? <coughs> so the fourth lord, if the fourth lord, the planet ruling your fourth house, what is your fourth house? Your, it was Scorpio, then uh, Libra. Maybe Sagittarius. 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 So Jupiter is the lord of your fourth house, right? Yeah. Okay. And it's actually there. And it's there. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. You're happy, happy, happy lady. But you got Saturn there too. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but because Jupiter is the own lord, that that makes it. That means he's ten times stronger. Because he's in his own house. Huh? Sixty. Sixty. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, if that Jupiter went to the, it's in the fourth house of happiness. So, if the the lord of happiness went to the house of happiness. Are you a happy person? Yeah. Okay. If the Lord of Happiness went to the fifth house? Um, I don't see why not. But if the Lord of the... F <laughs> if the Lord of, what, what would be the result if the Lord of the fourth house went to the fifth house? Oh, okay. What would make you happy? Uh, happiness from children. Happiness from children. Happiness from learning and intelligence. Mm -hmm. The more you learn... Mantras make you happy. Things of this nature make you happy. Happiness in playing the stock market. What oh. if the Lord of the Fourth went to the Sixth House? Mm. You, 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 you like to work. You're happy working. You like to fight. You're happy working. <laughs> Is it going to be as easy to be happy? No. no. It's going to be a lot harder to be happy. Not lots of People waiting on you make you happy. <laughs> But do you see how, like, the f in the fourth house, of course you're happy. In the fifth house, so, so, you know, it's, yeah. this is what, in the sixth house, it's going to be hard to make you happy. It's a, it's a suffering place. Mm -hmm. But there is a way to be made happy, but it's not going to just come naturally. Mm -hmm. Fourth Lord in the seventh. Happy being in a relationship. Relationship makes the person happy. Mm -hmm. Fourth Lord in the eighth. Cult. Study of astrology. Study of occult and astrology makes the person happy. But is the person going to be happy easy? No. Nope. No. It's going to be a lot of suffering in, in the, the realm of happiness. 
So we take the Lord of the house and we see where it's placed. At the same time, the Lord of the fourth in a house, is it good for the house or not good for the house? Good for the house. It's good for the house. What about if the sixth Lord goes somewhere? Sixth Lord shows what? Fighting? Enemies? Service? What if that goes to your fourth house? Fighting in the house, right? What if the sixth Lord goes to the tenth house? Fighting, work. In job. Fighting it at your job. Or enemies at your job, too. Okay, do you see how that's going? So, the Lord of the house, the, it'll bring the, its qualities to that house. So, it brings a connection between those two areas. So where the fourth Lord goes, it's showing what makes you happy, but it's also showing happiness there. Where the sixth Lord's going, it's showing suffering in that area. Showing what you suffer about, but it's also showing suffering there. So where the ninth Lord goes, the ninth house is the house of luck. So where the ninth Lord is placed is where you're lucky. Or the golden gate house. You're not so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so you have? Yeah. You're lucky in studying occult knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they said it was terrible. <laughs> You're what? Four plans to be. Where's your fifth lord? Fifth lord is Venus in the seventh. In the seventh. Oh. Hmm. I know why. Huh? Yeah, I think the yeah. <laughs> um, so, so do you see how that works? Yes. Yeah. Now, at the same time, there's another level. Okay. Uh-huh. The fourth house is also your mom, right? Yeah. So, if the fourth lord went to the second house, what's that showing is your mom's focus? Sources. Material gain and, and family. If the fourth Lord is going to the sixth house, what's that show about your mother? You don't get along She's with suffering. It. Suffering? It's third house, though. It's her third. She's good. What's her focus? On health. Nope, it's your sixth house, so it's health related to you. Right. But related to the fourth house, it becomes the third house. Desires. Desires. So she's somebody who's out chasing desires and trying to get things. Oh, that's the truth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's my mom. If the fourth Lord has gone to the seventh house, what's that mean for your mom? She's happy. She's happy. She's mm-hmm. happy in the home. She's going to make the home. The home is what is what her focus is on. Fourth house is also connected to education. The fourth is education, and the fifth is what's sustaining the education. It's your intelligence. So if you're very intelligent, you have a, you go all the way, uh, lots and lots of education. If you're not that intelligent, you don't have that much to sustain getting an education. So that fourth and fifth house are very important for education. So if the fourth Lord goes to the eighth, your mother is focused on... Um, what makes her vulnerable? What, what no, 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 that's oh. you. That's your vulnerable house. To her, it's her fifth house. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm, I mean, I meant um, the fourth, fourth lord, lord goes uh, to the eleventh, which would to be the eleventh. from itself. Mm-hmm. That's what I meant. She is focused maybe on occult learning, um, focused on her debts, focused mm-hmm. on um, things of that nature. Getting inherited. <laughs> okay. So do you see how there's multiple ways? So we have the house lord, and we're looking at the house lord, where it goes to show what's happening to that house. So we see where the ascendant lord went, where the lugna lord went. Then we can see where every other lord went. And those lords, from our perspective, are also blessing and cursing houses. Um... This chapter, Parashra, gives every, every lord in every house. This right here, effects of the first house. He gives 
the Lord of the first and the first, Lord of the first and the second, Lord of the first and the third. Then he goes, Lord of the second and the first, Lord of the second and the second, Lord of the second and the third. He gives all of them. I translate it right here, the Lord of the, 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 Lord of the first in each of the houses. So we can just go through that and see what he says. See what the Rishi says. So let's go, um, let's move one over. So Ajaya starts and we all get a different house. Where are we going? Lord of the first house. Are we reading now? Oh, Lord of the first house? Read from, on my thing it's page 8. It has the Got symbol it. with the mercury first on it. house, happy and blessed body. Deha Sukha Bhag. Strong arms, good strength. Buja Vikrami. Intelligent, clever. Manasvi. Unsteady, fickle-minded. Chash Chala. Having two wives. Dvi Baro. Baro. So, this is the Lugna Lord in the Lugna. Why does it give two wives? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but it, it actually works. Is that true? Good for I've seen it work. <laughs> what about well, Amachi? Oh no, that's exalted. Plan what about Unsteady? Why would Sanjay. it be Unsteady in the first time? The the actual word is is chastala. It has to do with chara moving. Oh, so the mind, intelligence moves. The intelligence is moving. Okay. Maybe it's moving very quickly. Uh, oh my. Not staying on one thing. Intelligence. Yeah. But I don't understand why it gives two more so. Is it has to do the opposite of the seventh or something? I, I haven't got that one either yet. Okay. So give two husbands? Yeah, two two well, partners. Cool. Well, does it mean does it mean that you're married and you're, you're have a mistress or two wives? Two married. Divorce one, get another one. Yeah. Um, Is this concurrent or serial? <laughs> As an ex. Can okay. you push pause for a minute? <laughs> you can leave yours. It could okay. have been in the old days having more than one wife. Is it false? Yes. Yeah. Well, a big person. <laughs> Lugna, Lugna Lord in the Lugna, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Our guru, Sanjay Ra, his first wife, he got married, it was a love marriage. Then he realized that it wasn't a very bright idea, mm -hmm. and they got divorced, and he's on his way to having his second marriage, and the person he's having a second marriage with is definitely the person that he'll most likely be with till the end of his life. Mm -hmm. Two wives. Mm, okay. It works. Well, There's an example it's right there. Yeah. So you know? It's, it's yeah. serial. How can it's you tell one after another? No, it can be concurrent as well. Either way. Mm -hmm. It depends on society. You have to live in Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, exactly. Go ahead. It works. Depends on society. Okay. Hmm. I have that. Uh, I haven't so. been married. <laughs> um, second house. Uh, Lugna Lord going to the second house. So when the Lugna Lord, the Lord of the Lugna, goes to the second. We want to go in this direction? Okay. Lugna Lord in the second house. Strength, Bala. One endowed with earnings or gains. La Bhava. Teacher, scholar. Panjita. Happy, Suki. Well-mannered, cultured. Susilo. Law-abiding, Dharma-vi, respectable, Mani, having many wives, Bahudara, good qualities, Gunar, Yuta. Gunar, Guna Yuta, having good qualities. Um, so here, strength. It's the second house from the Lagna. The second house sustains the Lagna. So the Lagna sustaining itself good strength, right? Mm -hmm. um, endowed with earnings, it's the second house, the focus is on earning. So if your focus is on it, that's what you're getting. Um, teacher, scholar, pandita, the second house is associated with traditional learning, mm -hmm. the learning that you get from your family. Remember it's the uh, fifth from the tenth, it's what it's what the knowledge that you're bringing career that you picked up from your family.
Suki happy. It's the 11th house from the 4th. 11th is gains, 4th is happiness, right? So 11th from the 4th is, is the house of happiness. So the person gains happiness. Mm. Well-mannered and cultured. Um, second house has to do with the culture that we've gotten from our family, that traditional learning. Law-abiding, dharma-vi. Respectable, mani. Having many wives. Why having many wives? Well, well, can do it. We could say that the Lugna Lord has gone to the eighth from the seventh. So. <laughs> So where the ninth lord goes, 